Are you these days that optimist as well? Do you see that much uh, optimism in rock and roll? That was a very optimistic record for rock. I mean, yeah. This guy well, saving rock, literally. I'm pretty self-satisfied with my own um, individuality. I don't think I have to exert myself so much to um, uh, explain that I not part of rock and roll i have my own identity i'm not i just use rock and roll and i had to be very exaggerated in the beginning to um, defy people to put me into a category so that that would leave me room to work in now, ziggy played guitar jamming good with weird and gilly and the spiders from mars what is ziggy ziggy i wanted i wanted to define the archetype uh, Messiah rock star. That's all I wanted to do. And I used the trappings of kabuki theater, mime technique, um, uh, fringe New York music, like uh, my references were Velvet Underground, right. whatever. Suffragette City or... Uh, it had that, that, the that energy value. The I wanted street. that energy value, yeah. It was a the cover British of view yeah. of American en street energy. So Ziggy was, for me, a very simplistic thing. It was what it seemed to be, an alien rock star. It was still very hard for anybody to realize that a rock artist can go on stage and be a different People person still, every time he goes on stage. They so do that nobody was doing that. Day, though. It need not be repetitive, right? Exactly. You don't have to be the same personality every time you go on stage. And uh, mine was more exaggerated. Yeah. There are no characters really involved with the, the last two projects other than David Bowie. I, I with, seen... with Low and Heroes. Yes. Yeah. No, of course not. I mean, uh, because when I got back to Europe, before I could start getting involved with characters or narrative again, I had to define a new form of musical language. And, and at this I point, Germany was really a part of you at this time. I mean, you no, just... that happened when I left America. As I was leaving America, I knew I had to get to an environment that was totally different to Los Angeles. So I thought of the most uh, arduous city that I could think of, and it was West Berlin. <laughs> and so I stuck myself... You picked in up everything and just sort of took a flat... I left everything. And left and just went there? <laughs> yeah, I left Bel Air, and uh -huh. I left all my <laughs> millions of videos. And then moving out of that to an area where I actually had to go down the road and buy food in a shop, actually learn how to buy a plane ticket which mm. sounds so sort of you know naive and trite it but sounds most like people you, because they can do those things sounds like you dumped a lot of people along the way then that you yes i did that for you. i did i reduced this whole incredible entourage that was sort of starting to develop down to three or four people that i worked very well with in between you know. Low and Heroes, even, you took Iggy Pop to Berlin mm. to, to make his record. I think, I, and, uh, yes, I, I think it's a very good therapeutic city for an artist to go to. I, I, so I wanted to come back to not the uh, punk street level, but a real street level oh, where yeah. you have to go and do things for yourself. Well, where nobody will up. take any notice of you. I was totally anonymous in Berlin. But you they do couldn't that. care less. You, you seem to do that. I mean, after every album, after every tour or project, you take these bizarre trips and you go away But how, places. I mean, who wants to come to a city and have people come up to you and say, you know, what's happening on Mars at the moment? Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, it's yeah. you've got to. <laughs> Very unlikely that would happen in Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tell us sure. about Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. What do you want to know about Kenya? Are you going to record there back? next? To... Okay, well, um... I don't know. I, 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 I didn't know what to expect from Kenya before I got there. I mean, I went there to show my son how animals really live, um, that they're not always behind bars, because he's seen the Berlin Zoo and, and things like that, and that's about it. I mean, he's only six, and he hadn't, he's only seen them in, in zoos, and so he got there, and then we started looking at the animals, and then I found it was a real country with real people in. It wasn't just one great big safari, and there were kinds of people that I'd never come across before, people called tribes, who led existences that they've led for 700, 800 years. Unchanged. Unchanged. Yeah. And also very quite, another quite humbling experience. I completely. I mean, it's totally humiliating. I've never met such proud and tall people. <laughs> I want to ask you during oh, that, uh, and I don't want to lose sight of the fact that your time in Kenya, but I, I wanted to ask you about the Iggy thing. One question, Did, was, was Iggy a, a way of letting your pop thing come out 
while you were making albums like Low and Heroes? I mean, were you kind of, in a sense, kind of staying disguised behind him as the producer and player to do this pop music, you know? Mm, that's a difficult question. I guess that, that might have been uh, the uh, incentive to actually get ahead and do it, but I've been a big fan of Iggy's for a number of years. I'd never ever seen him perform, ever. You didn't know about the, the first razor time blades saw... and the glass and the peanut well, butter. Well, I heard, you know, yeah. and all that stuff. Rumors, but... vicious rumors. Well, knowing Jim, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was incongruous, but um, actually going out on tour with him was the first time I'd ever seen him work. And that was quite a surprise. He's amazing. Yes, he is. That he must is. have been amazing for you, though, to sit back there every night behind a piano in front of people and I mean you lent your name to the project there's you know there's but we we know that we'd have that problem from the beginning and we knew we'd gradually back off how did it Jimmy feel being felt a more assertive man. about what he was how doing how did it feel being a session man as Fantastic. Ray Davies says not paid the thing I had my bottle of beer and a, a packet of cigarettes and a piano and I could get oh, drunk right. with the band and I remember you wearing those thick glasses and your little Harvard law school <laughs> and you were really I a, adored it it was I'm a terrific character yeah, really, you know, I really yeah. adored it in both Low and Heroes the, you create moods that are thought paintings that don't really require words or can get along with a mock language and not even a real tongue to get Absolutely. the idea across. Yeah. Is that what's coming? Is that what's up now? Well, what, happened, now? what happened is that I didn't have the necessary verbal equipment to describe what I was seeing, and that's where I needed assistance. Mm -hmm. I needed somebody to bounce ideas off and somebody to give me input because right. I was uh, so confused about, with all these blessed people running around my head, that I had to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. So, and Eno was uh, somebody that I'd known for years and years and never had the chance to work with. Brian Eno, of, formerly of Roxy Music, for any of you people who don't know. Yeah, there was a lot of enthusiasm on Heroes because Brian and I uh, liked so much what we did on Low. And we knew we had it in us to do another one, and, and oh, now yeah. I think even a third one. Oh, that would be great. I can't say, I wish we had more time to just stand here and just sit here and talk, really. It, it, stand there. I mean, we, we will sit here and talk for <laughs> more hours, but uh, we have to really kind of buzz off, and that's really... That's a Canadian word for <laughs> station break. Buzz off. Yeah, yes. you, you've uh, joined yes. uh, We'll Say Goodbye <laughs> like you. This has been our and Howard, Flo and Eddie, and David Bowie, and I, you know, Howard you, and I. We it's been my good. very great pleasure. Really, and we will do it again, I promise. And I promise as well. Okay. Thank you, Thank you very much.